Hello my soccer universe! Well, the end of the season and with this video I'm officially ending everything related to the 22-23 club season. At the end of the season I do a little bit of cleanup work and one of it is to kind of already determine which jerseys I can use for next season and which jerseys I have to put kind of in the closet because the teams got relegated and I will not be able to use them. And uh, those jerseys that I'm losing for the season I'm uh, gonna take a look at. There were a couple of close calls. One of those was, of course, not. Uh, Elas Verona was another close call. Stuttgart potentially could have gotten uh, relegated get as well. So there were a few where I thought, oh, this season can hit me really, 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 really hard. In the end, it's 11 jerseys that I won't be using for the next season. Uh, doesn't mean I'm getting rid of these jerseys. It means I'm keeping them for now. Uh, and let's see where this is going. If the team goes bust, probably that's an ind indication that maybe this is a <laughs> jersey we can get rid of in a way. But I also want to say on the post positive side, uh, while I'm losing 11 jerseys, I also am gaining two uh, in uh, um, Granada. I'm gonna get back and I'm going to get back uh, Cagliari. So I'm very happy about that. I was really hoping that a uh, team from France that I have in the second uh, tier will come up, but neither Bordeaux nor Caen, nor Amiens, uh, nor um, Nîmes managed to do that because there I have quite a few and also from Italy in Serie A, there are quite a few. Parma uh, comes to mind, Venezia comes to mind. So yeah, uh, there are a few that could, that I would have wished to come up, but at least Cagliari made it up again. So I'm gonna take a little journey through Europe. I will go through a few of these jerseys that I have to unfortunately retire for one year more or less and we'll start this whole thing in Spain where two teams in my collection got relegated. First one of which is Espanyol jersey that I got two years ago because Espanyol got promoted mullet again. It's kind of crazy how Espanyol, they have been such a mainstay in the um, Primera División or La Liga, then they get relegated once, stay up twice for two, uh, uh, have two years and then going down again. Sorry for this one. Uh, I actually really like this jersey. Fortunately, it won't feature next year. There's of course another team from Spain where I had actually really high hopes that they might make it. No, they didn't. Uh, and it's a little bit of shame because I really like this jersey. It's very non-traditional colors, but that's what I like about this one so much. It's of course Valladolid. That's the jersey they got relegated in 21. Uh, and that was already a re really shame. I really like how the pink complements the purple and the fading purple stripes. Maybe some striping on, on the back could be nice. I really love this shirt. Unfortunately, it was only for one season. Valladolid did actually really, really good. They got relegated with 40 points. 40 points and you don't make it. It's a real shame. But yeah, I guess I'll be wearing this more rare regularly then because, as I said, I really, really like this jersey overall. Let's go a little bit over. We stay at the Mediterranean, but we go to Italy, where Elas Verona survived on the last match day. Even Salernitana survived. But however, a team that is really near and dear to my heart, because their jerseys are so nice, got relegated in last place to boot. We're talking, of course, Sampdoria. Let's have two Sampdoria jerseys. Makes it even harder. This brilliant 98-99 away jersey. I have to retire. It's a brilliant jersey, especially with the crest, where the numbers go in on the back. Uh, I cannot tell you how much I love this jersey and how much I love the fact that I got this jersey for a really, really, really sweet deal. Unfortunately, they got really relegated and I really hope new ownership will take over at Sampdoria and that we'll have them back soon in Serie A, where they really, really, really belong. And of course, we have a Sampdoria home shirt as well. This one is from, I want to say the 94-95 season. That's one of those I bought this on Wilhaben at the very beginning of me um, realizing that Wilhaben is a source for shirts. I think I paid 15 euros for it for this brilliant shirt. Yes, it has a few pulls, but what a brilliant shirt with Cocarda to boot. And most importantly, the crest on, on the sleeves. This is how it actually should be worn. Honestly, it's a really, really nice shirt. Absolutely love this one. 
Going down, going down. Let's cross the Alps and go to Germany. Another brilliant shirt, another favorite of mine. But hey, again, I might wear it a little. A little bit more is also quite for a while in my collection. There were a few close calls, but now Hertha are down. And this one from when they got promoted, I want to say 97, 98 season, uh, unfortunately has to now hit. The closet, I really hope Hertha will come back together with Hamburg. I would love that they make it up again. Uh, it's and the other, the next thing I'm gonna show you that that would, would be my <laughs> almost preferred promotion picture. What a brilliant shirt! Shame, shame, shame that this doesn't feature my Bundesliga car coverage. I'm losing a lot of blue teams because the other blue team that I have from Germany and those are the only two is of course Schalke they also got relegated didn't make it it did not come necessarily as a surprise although there was a little time where I thought they could make it this is one I got last summer Schalke got promoted Schalke got relegated again I would probably have another one I always liked Schalke it's not the correct name set style but still it's a pretty cool shirt I have to say from the 2000-2001 season. I will have to do a Bundesliga coverage without blue jerseys this time around next season. Unless I'll get one, but you know, you know my space problem, so it might not, might not make it. But yeah, I'm sorry Schalke is going down. As I said, I have already my three candidates that I want to have, that I want to see for promotion next, for next time asking, in a way. However, there are other ways that the jersey will not make it um, into my videos next season. Not necessarily re relegation, uh, but also two close calls. Uh, one that did not work, the other one uh, that actually worked. Basel survived, so I can leave my Basel shirt jersey. However, Anderlecht did not qualify for Europe. So this newly acquired Anderlecht jersey, which I really like also, to be honest with you. I got it specifically for my um, Europa Conference League coverage and then they got duly eliminated, although they had a big advantage. That one goes into the closet. I hope that Anderlecht will come back. Given the status of Anderlecht in the Belgian game, I feel rather confident. Let's put it that way. Now, when going through this exercise, there is one way to get relegated that really, really hurts. It is a jersey from a team that you just bought like this Anderlecht jersey you have not barely have used it and then they're going down and for one particular team and now we are crossing over the channel into England for one particular team I bought two jerseys fortunately for really 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 cheap but that team is going down and that particular team is of course Leeds where I have been saying for three years now, I need a Leeds jersey, I really need a Leeds jer jersey. I never saw one for a good price, then they were selling those off for really cheap. I think this one cost uh, 30 euros. This was the best Adidas jersey by Leeds ever since they got up. Unfortunately, it is now with a relegation attached to it. Maybe the only thing is I would have wished a little bit more vibrant yellow, but I don't know, it's a real class jersey, I have to say. So too bad this one's going down. And so is, of course, this very, very, very loud away jersey that they were selling off for even cheaper. I think 12 euros or whatever. And I said, it's a re if I order from England, let's get both of these. Ah, yeah, Leeds getting relegated. Was meant to happen. I mean, on, 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 honestly, uh, looking at the ma last ma match day, the bottom four teams I had jerseys from. So... Uh, and there was always gonna be a team in Everton where I also have two jerseys where it's gonna would have happened. So yeah, it's just one one of those. I, as I said, I really hope that Leeds will come up again. Uh, I don't have uh, many other English teams uh, that I mean. I have a Nor I have Norwich in 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 a way. I have Gillingham, but Gillingham is probably has a long way. But Norwich maybe could get up as well. But now I have a total of four relegated, recently relegated teams. Not good, not good, and means. I need to a little bit stock up on Premier League jerseys. So, let's take the next one. Actually, the last place team in uh, this year is Premier League season is the Southampton jersey that I got at the beginning of the season or towards the end of last season. Uh, I think I bought it from classic football shirts, although I almost were, well, was about to get it from the club store. They were selling it for similar amounts of money. It's just that the shipping from classic football shirts ended up being cheaper. 
I have been also, you know, Southampton, I was going back and forth, should I get it with Ralf Hasenhüttl being on there? So yeah, I decided to get it. It's a really nice shirt. Unfortunately, Southampton didn't amount to much. I really would have liked to get the away jersey from this season, uh, this past season as well. Although that is already uh, curiously kind of sold out. But yeah, it's so far also the only reddish jersey that I have hanging here. There's a whole lot of blue that got relegated. Southampton bucks the trend. And then the final one is probably in a way the oldest one because A, we didn't expect it and B, I don't have a home jersey from the team. Leicester. I never thought that. Uh, this is what I got relatively early on in my channel career. And it's still a mystery to me that I didn't get a blue Leicester jersey. I had a few times the chance, but it was ne it never felt quite right. And I picked that one up from Classic Foot Football Shirts once. Uh, yeah, it is what, 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 what it is. But I really like that shirt. Of course, I would love to have a blue Leicester jersey sooner or later. But you know, that will, if they get promoted now, then I will look for it for now. This is my Leicester jersey. That is a team that I really think will come back up. I cannot see them not coming back up. They're too big of a team meanwhile. But who knows, who knows. So yeah, that's the last one. So here we are, all the teams that got relegated uh, from my, all the teams from my collection that got relegated this season, plus Anderlecht who just didn't make it into Europe. And so those will go into the closet. Sad, but you know, it is what, 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 what it is. Uh, I know this is a weird quirk for my collection, but you know, I would like to know uh, which teams in your collection got relegated. And do you have something like that as well? Probably not because you're not doing videos like, like me. But for me, buying um, jerseys always is a little bit, or expanding collection always has to do also a teeny bit with uh, which teams are currently in the top leagues that I'm covering. Always trying to get to at least 12, if not 13 teams. It has been a big loss this season. But you know, I hope here, hoping that next season it will be much better because you know, that bad streak cannot continue. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.